Hey Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to my channel, M Intuition Tarot. Please like, subscribe, share, and um, comment if these messages resonated with you. These are love messages for the week of July 22nd to 31st. Be sure to check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs if these ones did not resonate, guys. So, please reach out if you want a personal reading. We're not going to take those. Um, my email address is in the description box, as well as my Facebook and um, Instagram if you want to follow me. All the links for the tarot and oracle decks that I'm currently using in this reading are also in the description box. Okay, so we're going to start to take a look at the overall energy for this week. What can you expect as energy? These are the energy oracle. What is the energy for this week, please? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. July 22nd to the 31st spirit. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take them. Excellent. I asked for three and they give me four. That's fine. Okay, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. We're starting with some rest and rejuvenation. A lot of you have been going strong and have been maybe burning yourselves out when it comes to love. They're asking you to go within, to rest, reconnect with spirit, reconnect with your higher self. Be still. I think we need to be still at this point. Uh, goddess of the moon. This is, again, connecting with spirit, connecting with your intuition. The moon represents our intuition. And we've had two intense eclipses so one was a lunar eclipse in cancer the other one was a solar eclipse in capricorn shaking us up in our emotional foundations you know saturn which rules Capric capricorn is ruled by saturn and saturn is um you know a very harsh planet that wants us to learn the lessons that wants to make sure that we are structuring our lives correctly but at the same time cancer in the north node is leading us in a mo in a more emotionally um, emotionally safe place. So we are heading towards a place that is more safe. So we have to find our intuition and reconnect to spirit to find a place in a relationship that is more comforting and compassionate and loving and warm. For some of you, you're dealing with uh, either a person who has financial constraints or you do. Okay, so take it as it resonates. What Spirit is saying with these cards, the Energy Oracle cards, they're saying to reconnect with your higher self, use your intuition when it comes to finding love, and try not to put yourself in situations that um, are going to impact your finances. All right, so rest and rejuvenation, connecting to Spirit. That's beautiful, guys. So take the time to rest. Be still, meditate, reflect. This is what, you know, all these retrogrades are allowing us to do. All right. What messages do you have for us, Romance Angels, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, boy. Sagittarius, you're dealing with some unrequited love. Meaning that there's, there's an unequal give and take. Like someone love someone a bit more than the other and we don't want to see this card when it comes to love guys so you know with this unrequited love where there's not enough give and take there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going as what it's saying um it's saying to continue being optimistic about your love life um it's saying positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so this week you might feel unfulfilled if you're in a relationship or you might feel unfulfilled with the interactions or encounters that you're having but spirit is telling you it's happening for a reason you need to stay optimistic okay it's showing you what you don't need and what you don't want this is why they're saying you need to get still you need to rest you need to recover oh this card keeps on popping up guys i think this is like the seventh time we get this card today for the weekly love horoscope. So I think we all need to keep an open mind. I mean, I mean, our usual type is going to change and we don't have to worry. We're still going to have, we're still going to share, you know, a strong magnetic bond with this person, with this person that's going to come into your life. But you need to start having more of an open mind, opening your eyes 
to other opportunities that were maybe different from your your usual type and expectations. This is what it's saying. Okay, so keep an open mind, stay optimistic. You're dealing with some unrequited love, whether that was someone in your past or in your present. Someone that is not your person, Sagittarius. Let's get one more for my Sagittarius, please. Oh, they gave me two. Okay, again, they want to remind you, they did this with Virgo, that this person that is not your usual type that you need to keep a mind of, keep an open mind of, you will have chemistry. You will have a strong magnetic attraction with this person. Okay, so don't you worry. This person is just has not been your type and maybe you've overlooked them. You've counted them out in the last few years or last few months. And here we have our Cupid's arrow. You deserve love. You are lovable. So keeping your eye on the prize, focusing on what it is that you want in love because you deserve love. And if you deserve love, well, then you're going to focus on love. You're going to focus on people and situations that bring you higher in that vibration. Okay, so be, stay optimistic. All right, what is the overall energy with the tarot here, the witch's tarot? Oops, I see a card popping up. What is the overall energy of Sagittarius this week? What can we expect their energy to be like this week? Oh, that's a lot of cards. Okay, someone here opening up, offering you their cup. But not sure about it with the Virgo. Maybe you are dealing with the Virgo. Let's get more, please. Yeah, someone's stuck. Stuck about commitment. Stuck about offering you that cup. Yeah, still not sure. Maybe it could be a Libra too. Try, trying to find a good way, a fair way to approach you, I think. So let's start with that Knight of Cups. Can be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Can be someone here who's kind of reflecting, going within, trying to find answers within themselves and isolating themselves right now because they are trying to think about what's the best approach, what's the best fair way to come through. Maybe this is also a Leo. We have a lot of people in here, guys. We got High Priest, the Tor a Taurus. We got Libra. We got Virgo. And we got Water. And Earth. We got Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we got Capricorn, Virgo, and, well, Virgo we got before, but Taurus. So, basically, this person is going within before offering, you know, coming forward here, trying to find a way that is balanced and fair, you know, offering you commitment, but they're kind of stuck. I feel like they're having a hard time opening up when it comes to offering commitment, at Ten of Pentacles, they really want something long term here, but it's gonna start small, you know. It's gonna start maybe by a friendship with this friendship that is going to grow. But I feel like they're they're kind of stuck in how to find it, a, a balanced and fair and harmonious way to approach you, and this is why they're a little bit in their hermit mode. They are not uh, fully revealing themselves right away. So that's the energy that I see here, or this might be you guys that are a little bit stuck and trying to find a way out of um, trying to find a way to approach someone, uh, trying to find a way to gain clarity and truth and communicate, communicate what you uh, look at that page of cups. So communicating, expressing an offer here when it comes to love. So. What is the energy that's coming towards Sagittarius this week? Yeah, there's a little bit of disappointment, a little bit of sadness with that Five of Cups. Okay. So watch out for that. Oh, that's way too many cards, Spirit. I just want a couple, please. What other energies that are coming towards Sagittarius this week? Okay, so this there's a, some sadness revolving this new beginning with this, whether that's uh, with, you know, that's you or someone else. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, but there's some sadness revolving, this new be revolving around this new beginning. 
Yeah, there's some uncertainty. There's some disappointment. What else is coming towards her or him this week? Yeah, there's a new beginning here. There's movement. There's moving. This is a moving house. This is, you know, opportunities in love. Someone here is not revealing their, their, you know, what they feel. They're not telling the whole truth here. And someone is kind of sad about it. What else do you have? What else? What other... I'll bring these up. Yeah, not willing to take a leap of faith, not willing to start something new here. Someone is really stuck because the fool here wants to take a leap of faith when it's upright, but when it's in reverse, it's avoiding this, this new beginning. Avoiding a new beginning. Avoiding. Avoiding. There's a lot of avoiding here. What else do you have for Sagittarius? Hmm. Yeah, the energy is quite slow when it comes to uh, probably... I mean, we have here a Queen of Cups who's completely in love. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this can be you, Sagittarius. I feel like you're being, you know, a little bit uh, hopeful here when it comes to this. But it's kind of taking you some time to open up. It's kind of, you, it's kind of taking you a little bit of time to push forward here with that star card it's just someone who's trying to heal so maybe you're still trying to heal from this disappointment from this new beginning that did not take that was supposed to take place but did not take place and there's kind of like a delay here and i feel like you are trying to heal and it's taking some time with that knight of pentacles it's slow moving yeah there's some transformation maybe with a scorpio there's some changes there's endings or endings in the past. Yeah, we got the Virgo card again. So this week, I feel like there's going to be a lot of inner reflection. And this is why it's saying rest and rejuvenation. This is your energy when it comes to love. You have to really take a look at this unrequited love, this person that you're currently dealing with. Are they the right one for you? Because there's a lack of reciprocation. There's a lack of uh, chemistry between you two. Yeah, you're going to be weighing your options this week, Sagittarius. It's going to take you a little bit of time because the Hermit takes its time. And we saw the Hermit twice here. And I, yeah, I feel like this might be you, but might be them as well. Someone here is indecisive. Someone here needs to go within and try to find the best, uh, the best solution, the best way possible, yeah, to communicate. You know, someone's going within to try to find a communicate, but here we're single. Someone who's independent is trying to come through here to create, to build a family, a legacy, a long-term commitment, but it's taking time. We see, we saw the Ten of Pentacles here. Someone here is holding back. Someone is stuck. Someone is blocking. All right, so that's the energy for this week, guys. I'm just going to pull out one card for the... Uh, Lovers Oracle, what advice do you have for my Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising this week? Okay, so close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So focusing here on love and on joy, what is it that brings you love and joy? Focus on that. And here it says, ah, wait, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Some of you are rushing or rushing, you know, into other things. We need to wait. Okay. So that's your love scope for the week of July 22nd to the 31st. Make sure to check out all my other readings, Sagittarius for the month of July. I did two readings, one for the first half of the month and one for the second half. Check out your moon rising in Venus. If this did not resonate, Please comment below, subscribe if you're new, and follow me. Have a great week, guys. Take care.